up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is all about Sailor Moon merchandise, news, and reviews. I hope that you enjoy it, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe right below. Now, I have been collecting a slew of used or previously owned items from other sellers on eBay and on Facebook and on Instagram, so today is a roundup of all of these different items that I have gotten from American resellers. Luckily, everyone that sent these have been amazing and they have taken such good care of their products and I'm super happy to give them a new loving home. So let's go ahead and break into all of these boxes that I have on the floor in front of me because there's several of them and I will show you what I got. So first off, as you can see, is this adorable and what looks to be brand new Ichiban Kuji Luna. She has a cute little ribbon on the front and she also has pretty purple, very, very soft fur and she's a great size and she also so sits upright too. So this will look super cute wherever I decide to put her. However, my background is getting a little bit crowded, so I'm not sure where she's gonna go quite yet. We'll figure it out. Next up from a lovely lady on Facebook, I got this Sailor Moon R the Movie book. So this is originally a vintage book from Japan and let me find the production information. So this book is from 1994, it looks like, when they first came out with the movie. And it basically just features a whole bunch of original art from the movie, like a whole bunch of like cells. And it also features, looks like some interviews. It has some excellent character art. And it also has some stills from the movie too. This book will be really interesting to translate because I'm sure that there's some pretty cool information in here that I just can't read because it's all in kanji. All right, so next up I got some clear files and some stickers and a fan and some other things. So first is, I believe this is a keychain. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so this is the Sailor Venus uh, Sailor Moon Cafe keychain and of course this is acrylic again and it features Minako Eno who is Sailor Venus. Very pretty keychain. I'm collecting them all so I think I only need like three more and then I will have this whole set. This two-sided fan is made out of plastic as well as paper and this is a very popular thing to carry around at the festivals because it blows wind really really well so this is great for the hotter months but this is from one of the Q-Pot collaborations so it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon on the back and it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon on the front as well and it has Usagi and Chibi Usa on it. Next up I got a couple of clear files because I love my clear files. Both of these are from Q-Pot Collaborations 2 and both of them have pretty gold foil on them and both of them feature Usagi. One looks like a Princess Serenity kind of rendition and the other feature her, features her really cute Q-Pot Cafe outfit. The back of both of these also says Q-Pot and Sailor Moon and they both feature really pretty lace detailing and very pretty designs overall. I love the clear files, they're so cute. I never thought I would be a clear file collector but I love them all, they're awesome. Oh, that's cute. The person that sent me the next one also sent me coloring book pages. Adorable. <laughs> These two are also clear files, but these are from the Sailor Moon Cafe line. So first we have the Inner Senshi clear file, and then we have the Outer Senshi clear file, and both of them have very similar art. My favorite is the purple one, because purple's my favorite color. And the back of them say Sailor Moon Cafe. All right, so this next seller had a slew of items on eBay for really cheap, so I decided to go ahead and opt to uh, purchase a bunch of them, but these are all clear files except for a few of the items. Uh, first we have a bunch of clear files that come in a kind of a miniature size and these feature really really pretty new art. We have a couple of Sailor Moon. I love the stained glass one. I think that's my favorite. There's also one that has Sailor Neptune as well as Sailor Uranus on it and I love the galaxy line on it. It's very very pretty and these all also come from Sailor Moon Crystal too so you'll notice kind of a trend there. Now on these two pages we have what looks like teeny tiny clear files and that is exactly what these are. Now at first I was like what in the world am I going to use these for? This looks a little bit ridiculous but then I came up with an idea. These would be awesome 
for gift cards. So if you are gifting somebody gift cards that love Sailor Moon, you could stick them in these little miniature clear files. How awesome is that? Or you might just want to keep them and like stick something else inside of them or nothing at all because they are really, really pretty. I also got some stickers that you can stick on your phone and they're specifically made for your phone, which is really cute. And I got this cool little page of stickers too that are more of a holographic sticker line. And these feature the outer senshi as well as their signs and whatever attack item that they have. This next item, Oh, yes. Yay. This is super soft. Yay. Cool. Okay. So I ordered a very large size of this shirt, but I'm kind of glad I did because they run very small. This is an extra large. It does not look like an extra large at all, but it is a Bella canvas line in case you're interested. This was sold at, I want to say San Diego Comic-Con or Anime Con or one of those, but it says the moonlight is a messenger of love, Sailor Moon Crystal season three on it, and it has Sailor Moon compact on it the heart specifically it is very very pretty and it's a really cute shirt and it's super soft so I can't wait to wear this in some of my future episodes I also decided to purchase this really adorable Sailor Uranus Petite Chara she is one of the glitter line I'm debating on purchasing all of the glitter line or not I most likely will and then I will just have the glitter line for the regular Sailor Senshi uniform Petite Charas but this is one of the only ones that I have as well as a few of them lined up up there so she's very cute and she will be added to my collection. I also already have a few of these Ichiban Kuji line of hand towels so this is the one that features the inner senshi and you can see the four inner senshi there. There's also one that has Chibiusa and Usagi on it which I have featured in a previous video I believe and there's also an outer senshi one too so this one will go along with the other two that I have already purchased. This piece of glass that you can hear in here, I'm hoping it is not broken, uh, but this is, yay. It looks like it's not broken, that's good. This is the last of the soy sauce bottle line that I wanted to collect. So now I have all three of the soy sauce bottles. Uh, this one was specifically only sold at the Sailor Moon exhibition. I did go to the exhibition back in 2016 uh, back in Tokyo, but unfortunately it was already sold out because of yay scalpers. So I was able to get my hands on one for a pretty decent price over on eBay. This item is also an eBay purchase. However, I got it for a great price. Usually these books sell for, I want to say like $25 each or $30 each. Uh, however, I found the entire pack, including the display box for these all together. These are the Sailor Moon character books for the Inner Senshi. I found the whole thing for about $90, I want to say. I think it was 100 with shipping. When I was younger, I had the Sailor Mars one, and that was the only one that I was able to find. Uh, something happened to that book, so I'm really happy that I was able to find all five of them together in a group and it didn't cost that much money. These are vintage, they come from the 90s. I really like the design on the front of them as well as the back because they have both English and uh, kanji writing. And they're character books, so they feature a bunch of art of whichever character you are reading about. They also have a bunch of detailed profile information about those different characters. They have family information and who they are. They have little, what looks like a comic strip almost about the character and there's a lot of information in here. Oh look, that's a really cute piece of art of Naru and Usagi, which I've never seen before, so that's adorable. I like it. And when you're done reading them or trying to translate them using Google Translate, like I will, you can put them back in this awesome display box, which says Pretty Soldiers on the back, and it has all the Sailor Senshi. And then on the side, it says Sera Moon. I wanna say that says character books or something and it also says pretty gar pretty soldier sailor moon and the front has this really cool holographic print <laughs> it looks like a license photo for each of the characters like they went to the dmv and took these pictures we got dmv pictures okay so the next items i got are both used but they're very pretty and i'm very excited about them this is the tuxedo mirage memorial ornament and it has Sailor Moon and 
Prince Endymion. Well, actually I should say Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. And you stick the top piece on the topmost piece. I don't know how this thing goes on. Oh wait, is that it? Oh, it goes on like this. Okay. This one also smells like smoke, which is so gross, but it's used, so hopefully it just airs out and it gets rid of it. I don't know if it will because I don't smoke, so I'm not used to that having to deal with that. But this is the Tuxedo Mirage Memorial Ornament. As you can see, it has some really pretty art on the sides of it, and it also has Princess Serenity as well as Prince Endymion on the top of it. And this one does have batteries in it, so I can turn it on, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Yay, it's so cute. That's really cool. Okay, cool. So it works, which is nice. <laughs> uh, this seller also sent me one of the Twinkly Dollies. And since I don't really collect a lot of Gashapons, including Twinkly Dollies, it's awesome whenever people send these because I'm never going to have them unless somebody does send them to me. So yay, very cute. You can just go down here. All right, so next I have three different pins. Now these aren't actually Sailor Moon pins, but they're definitely along the same line. So they got the feels of Sailor Moon. These are from uh, from J, F-R-O-M-J-A-E. Uh, they're called Intergalactic Treats. Intergalactic Treats. And I got three of them. I got a cute little cone with ice cream in it and a crescent moon. I got what looks to be like a daiquiri or a giant wine glass that has some crystals inside of it. And I also got this really cute sundae that has a crescent moon at the top. And I think they're so pretty. These will definitely be going like in an Eda bag, for instance. Now to go along with the fan made items, I also got this awesome bag that I originally saw on another YouTuber's account. I just saw this on my uh, my news feed for YouTube and I watched the video from her uh, and her review of this and I decided to click through and purchase one for myself. So I got it in the mail like just this week and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's really well made. There's a crescent moon on the side with some lemons. Oh, they're on both sides, which is really cool. It's also purple, so it's my favorite color and it's purple on the inside and it's an Eda bag, which means I have something to decorate now. And it features this really cute cloth all the way around and it's so pretty. And it sounds like there's stuff on the inside. Oh, it zips too. That's nice. I like that. And there's a separate zipper. Cool. Uh, the seller for this is Punky Pink Cow, if you're interested in buying your own. And she's on Etsy. And she did include a couple of little items in here. We have a stir stick. <laughs> we have a notepad. And we have a cute little pencil case with some little characters on it. All right, so lastly, I got a couple of items from a seller on, uh, I believe this was Instagram as well. So this first item is beautiful. This one is a very, very much vintage Sailor Moon doll. And I don't collect dolls, but I saw this one and I thought she was really beautiful. So I decided to get her anyway. Uh, she's in a very much damaged box. However, it looks like she's never actually been opened. Uh, there is some issues with the box, like the plastic on the outside is damaged. There's tons of wear and tear to the cardboard too, but that's fine. The doll itself looks like she's in great condition. She has a little bit of wear on one of her hands, the hand that presses against the plastic, so that's not too surprising. The toy sticker is on the front too, which is nice that it's still attached and it looks like she's in great quality. So I might just leave her in the box because she's really pretty, but she's got butterfly wings. I mean, how cool is that? She's so cute. Super Sera Moon. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, she's really pretty. And last but not least is something that I have been pining over for months and months and I finally found her for less than a hundred bucks. This is Ami Mizuno the world uniform operation figure. Oh my goodness. Can you believe I was able to find each of these characters for less than a hundred bucks each, some of which were still 50 bucks, which is the, I believe, really close to the original MSRP. So I'm gonna go ahead and open her because she looks awesome. This is definitely my fave for the day. I mean, can you tell? I mean, I was just so stoked to receive her in the mail and I almost didn't get her because another 
buyer was really interested, but they took forever to respond to the seller. So word of advice, if you are trying to buy something and then you're kind of iffy about it, if it's one of those items that's just like really hard to find, maybe just get it if you can afford it. Of course, if, if you can't put the money towards it, don't purchase it. But if you have a little bit of money to spare and you want to buy it, maybe don't wait because somebody else will swoop in and purchase it. And that's exactly what I did. I swooped in and I purchased this because the other person took way too long to respond to the seller and the seller couldn't wait they wanted to get paid so i was like i can paypal you right now and they said okay so they took my money and they sent me this beautiful figure so here is ami mizuno she looks awesome now she was on display for a while you can see some dust on the display at on the stand at the bottom but she is in perfect condition she looks great she looks absolutely beautiful and she will go excellently on my display shelf behind me. So that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanna know what your favorite product was from today's unboxing video. I don't know, mine's, uh, it's probably Amy, but the backpack is also really, really cute and awesome. And it's still available to this day from Punky Pink Cal. So if you wanted one, you could totally go get one yourself. But let me know what you think. Comment below, like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Johnny.